Now it's important to mention that shear conformation is more stable than boat conformation. To explain this, we will be drawing Newman projection on a chair and on boat conformations. Now, all adjacent carbons in the chair conformation are staggered compared to each other because we have an alternation between up carbon and a down carbon. So to represent this, so I will consider the rotation around this bond here and I will be looking at this carbon here. For Newman projection, please refer to my previous video on Newman projection to fully understand this topic. But before that, I will be assigning the bonds axial and equatorial so we can use the color code when we draw the Newman projection. So here we have the axial pointing up and here the axial is pointing down and the equatorials so this is the equatorial pointing down and the equatorial here is pointing up so when I start drawing the Newman projection I will just draw the back carbon first so that's the back carbon and then I will draw the the bonds so I'm looking at this carbon here and this is my front carbon so the red bond which is the axial is facing down so I will just draw it like this and the equatorial is facing to this side and the bond with the CH2 which is part of the cycle is pointing to the left side now on the back carbon I have the axial which is pointing up and it's 180 degrees compared to the red or the axial bond on the front carbon. I have the equatorial it's also in the opposite direction to the white bond on the front carbon And the white bond is on the opposite direction going to complete the cycle so here is the CH2 and that's gonna go to the cycle and this is another CH2 that's gonna go to the other to continue the cycle in order to help you figuring out the different carbons so I will just add substituents a, B, C, and D. And here you will have A here, B here, and then you have C on the axial on the second or the back carbon, and then you have D here. However, for both, if I take the four down carbons and I will be looking at this carbon here so I will put my eye here and that's going to be my front carbon I will draw the I will draw the bonds on each carbon so this would be down carbon so the axial is facing down this is also a down carbon so the axial also is facing down and the equatorial car, uh, bonds, the equatorial bonds, they're facing up every time. Okay, so in a similar way, to draw Newman projection, I will be, I will start with the back carbon, and then I will be drawing directly the bonds on the front carbon I will start with the axial that's pointing down so this is the axial then the equatorial on the front carbon and the bond with 
the CH2 that's going to com complete the cycle. So on the back carbon, I will draw the axial, which is 0 degree compared to the axial on the front carbon. And the equatorial, which is also 0 degree compared to the equatorial on the front carbon. And the bond that is going to complete the cycle, the white one. In a similar way now, if I add substituents as A, B, C, and D, so A would be here, B would be here. Now C is on the axial of the back carbon and D on the equatorial. And here I have the two CH2s that they will continue the cycle. So what can I see from here? I can see that in a chair conformation I have staggered conformations between all carbon-carbon bonds. However, in a boat conformation for the four down carbons, I have eclipsed conformation. And therefore, both conformation is more energetic due to the to two strains. The first one is due to the eclipsed conformation and the main strain in the eclipsed conformation is the torsional strain and the second strain is the steric strain and here between A and C, D and B. There is no angular strain because in a chair conformation or in a boat conformation the bond angles for every carbon is equal to 109.5.